Well, now to a beautiful story about mateship. It starts with a fella named Ray Phillips, who met a mate through the Red Cross Community Visitors Program. As Mike Dalton reports, it sparked a friendship that has stood the test of time. I'd like you to meet two blokes who are good mates. G'day, my name's Kerry McCarthy and this is my friend Ray Phillips, who we've known for 15 years. My name's Ram John Phillips and this is my friend Kerry McCarthy. Uh, I've known him for about 15 years. He takes me all over, he takes me out everywhere, all over the place. Kerry used to be in insurance and Ray, well, life did not deal Ray the best of hands. Ray has been in institutions most of his life, unable to deal with everyday life due to an intellectual disability. How did you meet Ray 15 years ago? Uh, well, he, he used to work for the Red Cross. That's how I come to meet him. Right, right you started He's jumping in for you. <laughs> uh, yes, well, Ray mentioned the Red Cross. I, I read an article in a local Parramatta newspaper and I thought, well, I can do that. Doing that was joining a community visitor's scheme run by the Red Cross. You know, you'd hope someone would do it for you as, as you get older. The local paper caught their first meeting a decade and a half ago, and it seems that meeting made an impression on Ray. I thought he wasn't a bad looking bloke. I thought he was all right. Do you like it when Kerry comes around and visits you? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, uh, uh, I'm always glad to see him. I'm always glad to see him. And since then, there have been regular compadres at the rugby, on board tall ships, by the bunkers and the greens, and up in the heavens. I'd asked him one day, he'd never flown, ever. So um, we organised a helicopter ride for him. Were you nervous, Ray? No. <laughs> I, I was a little bit scared when I was getting on it. When I, you know, I was getting up into the helicopter, I was a bit scared. Uh, but after, after a while I'd been in there, I got all right. And when, when, when he was away up in the air, <laughs> I looked down, oh, and you get real giddy. <laughs> you get real giddy when you look down. Mate, you look more like Marlon Brando than me. <laughs> Today, they're strapping on the bike helmets. And according to carer Natalie Smith, these days are diamonds for Ray. Gets up really early, gets dressed, you know, way before normal. Um, it's like he's... The anticipation is almost too much, you know, like Christmas. So really. he's just ears like yeah. a little kid before Christmas? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Righto, fellas. Looks like you're ready to rock and roll. Oh, yeah. yeah we're ready to go, Ray. You ready to go, Ray? Yeah. yeah. Good on you. You're born to be wild. <laughs> well, maybe born to be mild. <laughs> but you're born to be. Good on you, fellas. Have a good ride. <laughs> How'd you go, Ray? Oh, lovely. <laughs> what about yourself, Gary? Oh, I had to get used to it. Yeah? That's <laughs> all right. A bit nervy, were you, mate? A bit nervy, yeah. Did you look after him, Ray? No. Oh, yeah. He was calm. Yeah, he, he was, was calm. all right. He was a good bloke. In fact, Ray was busy lining up another ride as soon as he hopped off. Is Kerry going? Oh, well... <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if he wants to come, he can come. <laughs> yeah. um, Oh, ah, another terrific story. Wow. If you'd like to find a friend, you can do so through the Red Cross website, redcross.org.au. Now.